Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am here with the Merry and Bright collection. This collection consists of three dies and an embossing folder. I have all four products here on my two examples. Let's just go right into this video. Let's get started. Let's take a closer look at these products. There is the Merry and Bright Christmas tree die set. You can create a Christmas tree shape that you fill in with a star and the word Merry and, and then you use these drop-ins or you could use sentiments from your stash. Another sentiment die and even a stamp. This has an outline and then those drop-ins. Three and five eighths of an inch tall by two and a half inch wide. And you can do Merry and Bright or Merry and Wishes. Super cute, five dies. Up next is the Petite Blooms and Sentiments dies. This would be a great addition to Holiday Blooms. Look at that poinsettia. Kind of reminds you of Holiday Blooms, right? But in a smaller sizing. So then you could have the big one and the small one and then maybe this might be a medium one. I haven't put it next to Holiday Blooms, but I think this would be a great addition to it or on its own because you do get that nice poinsettia. You do get berries, but in a different shape. It's like a little triangle. You get that flower with the centers. So the centers can go for these. Some different leaves. And I love this style of leaf too. That's really cute. You also get a little fishtail banner that you can drop in hello or use the stamp sentiment. And this. This now is fun because this is reminding me of assorted tags, probably in a different shape. So I like how you can use the drop-in or take it out and put another one of those stamped images in here. And Spellbinders has some great sizing on stamped images. So this one could also use that for you and Santa the stamp. So super cute. So I will link some of Assorted Tags, which is a die set currently on sale too. And then you can also look at the coordinating stamps that could fit in here as well. Some of them could probably fit here too. Next, there is the All Occasion Bow Die. You can see that I put notes. <laughs> this is another one that has a cheat sheet. I'm going to show you the cheat sheet right here. <laughs> it's not hard to put together. You can make a bow by itself or you can include all the stripe elements. I broke it down where it says top stripes. That's the stripes for this part of the bow. This is the tail of the bow. You cut it twice. And then this is the two pieces that are the stripes for the bow tails. This is the center of the bow, that middle piece that would go right here. You cut this twice and you'd have one piece here, one piece there. This is a little stripe down the bow, but you can keep it solid, like I say, or use the stripes. I'll do the measurement on the finished bow. And lastly, peppermint stripes, 2D embossing folder, oversized, five and a half inch wide, eight and a half inch tall. No need for the universal plate system, but boy, love it. I use the universal plate system for my die cutting, especially when it comes to these oversized embossing folders, whether it's 2D or 3D, I'm using the universal plate system. It's just a little change in the plate. The universal plate system sandwiches are so easy to read that I really reduce the chance of jamming my machine by using the wrong sandwich. So that's why I love to use a universal plate system with this. So this one has some stripes, but it's like a solid stripe and then a double stripe. Here are my two examples. Now the bow I was thinking of using on an A2 card is going to take up your whole A2 card. It's going to take up your five by seven too. You could do like a horizontal five by seven if you want a little bit of space. A A2 card, it's like right there. It's your whole card. But then you can build on top of your bow as well. So in this instance, I did it as a customized bow on a gift bag. I think this is a great idea. We always buy these gift bags. To make it cost effective, it's usually plain. Once you get it fancy, then your gift bag ends up costing like $7 or something like that. So with this, it's a nice way of dressing up that plain gift bag. And because you can make the bow in any color, then you really get to customize it. So I love that feature of this bow. And it's big enough on a big gift bag. Normally, our die cuts would be on a smaller gift bag, like that size. So this full bow, five and a half inch wide by four and a quarter inch tall. Isn't that cute? So like I said, you could take out all these stripes and just leave it as a solid bow. Did I not? <laughs> I just realized something, but I can't even fix it. <laughs> Woo, crafters. I forgot to put in my shadow piece here. I'll show you a photo example of it. I just realized it now. Oh goodness, this is what happens when you craft at night. 
<laughs> I thought this was fine. And now I'm like, wait a second. Oh, it says top. This piece is supposed to be up here for the top as a shadow, meaning like you can see the inside. But it doesn't bother me like this. But now, yes, it's bothering me because, yes, I should have put it in. Maybe I could fix it. I'll see. And then I'll show it to you another time. Yeah, I'd have to lift this. This is when undo comes in handy. Put a little undo and then I could lift the adhesive and then fix this. On this gift bag, I'm using both the All Occasion Bow, which I need to correct with my little shadow piece here. I thought it was down here, but it's up here. And Petite Blooms. So I did a little cluster with the Petite Blooms. Look at that poinsettia. Put a little silver mixed gem. Here, I decided to keep the sentiment here. Put a tiny little bit of twine right here and then just tucked in all these florals. So this is popped up, this is popped up, and then everything else is tucked in. Super duper cute. I think this is a great idea. Gift bags and more. Just when you want to personalize presents and such, this would be nice too on Christmas presents, which would then reduce the cost of buying a ton of bows to put on presents. You could just cut these and make them up solid or not. I like this, this is really cute. All year round too. Baby shower, put a bow on it. Bridal shower, same thing, anything, right? Lastly, I have this little mini slim line card. I had white in the background. I tell you, that's my new color right now. I go through these phases. I came up with this idea that I wanted to do Christmas this way. Navy blue cardstock, and then everything else came after that. The white foam that you see here and the red foam. This is Spellbinders pop-up glitter foam sheets. So I have had this red for a while. I'm loving it here with that word Mary. Isn't that cute? So I just used some Barely Art glue, put some little dots, spelled out the Mary, and then put that little star. And then I used the bright right here. So I had that bit to cut. When I had this all plain white, it was too much of a contrast between here and here. It was too bright. So what I did, took some Distress Oxide, came in here with blue, and then I came in with gray. And to finish it off, I took some iridescent spray and sprayed it. You see the color that it's getting all over? Because the spray went everywhere, but I don't mind it. And then I put this on top. This is a blue from the Vivant ribbon. I know you guys haven't heard me talk about that in a while. Vivant is a brand that Spellbinders carries. It's a high-end set of ribbon, twine, and cord. I'll put a general link there, but I love the Vivant, and this is my first time using that ribbon. So I just wrapped the ribbon around here. It's a little mini slim line card, and I think it just turned out so cute. And then here, that's the embossing folder. Look at that embossing folder. I love it this way, plain, and then when you put the ink on it, I just think it just pops. Alrighty, crafters, I just wanted to hop on real quick, show you these four items in action. Need to fix that action, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, crafters, everything will be detailed and linked below. Until the next video, check out the Marian Bright collection. Unique, cute, just something different. And this is a masculine card. If I take out that glitter, oh, it's perfect. So this is another idea that you could use for your masculine cards too. And you could change the color of this bow and then it can become masculine as well. Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Check out the cuteness here because I love that this can extend into projects, home decor. You could make big ornaments too with this and this. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.